Welcome back to my channel, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. I am back with you, Saggies, for another love reading. This one's going to be for January 2021. Ah. Okay, cards are flying. They got things to say. If you are new here, welcome. I have a lot of new subscribers, which I am very, very happy and excited for. And if you are here and you have not subscribed, I hope to earn your subscription today. Let's see what we got going on here, Saggies. Now what I do is I call upon the collective energies, the guides of the Sagittarians who this is going to um, resonate for so it can benefit them in the highest and greatest in the most healing way possible. And if you like this video, please make sure that you like it um, with the thumbs up so it will get spread around to other Saggies who need to hear these healing words. Generally, this is you, this is them, and this is the storyline. I will pick up the cards and show you because I'm all about pictures and symbols. You're definitely hoping for a wish fulfillment here. You're looking into the future with fire and passion, with this ace of um, wands here. Your person has love for you. This is the lover's card here. They have um, patience with the temperance card, and they also have a lot of love for you here with the king of cups. There's a lot of grounded energy here as well with this 10 of earth. Here's the queen of air. You've got the king of cups, the queen of swords. I feel like somebody's emotions are kind of flailing to and fro is what I'm hearing. Spirit, what do you have to say so far? Nothing. Alrighty then. And let's see here. What do we need to know about this wish fulfillment card? The three of fire. It's a card of celebration of moving forward. The King of Swords. So you've got the King and Queen here. So this is a divine couple with this Two of Wands here. Both of you want to look to the future. Both of you want... I, what I'm hearing is both of you have the same agenda. You know, and with this Ace of Fire comes the Chariot. So there's definitely, you know, an energy of moving forward. Now you've got the Ten of um, Pentacles here and the Ten of Cups here with this love. So you've got a lot of wonderful components to making this a wonderful situation. Because this is what they want is the Ten of Cups with you. Because they know that you're their lover. Here's the temptation here, or um, temperance, with the Page of Air. Yeah, both of your energies are very like grounded but passionate and hopeful yet it's this energy is very nice and here is the with the king of cups is the strength card give me information about this ten of earth Spirit, what's going on here? This is what Spirit's saying. You're, you're in a very grounded, loving, and strong relationship where both of you might butt heads. Both of you have um, 
issues of wanting to be in control. And it causes some problems in your relationship because it's kind of this constant um, back and forth feeling of, you know, who's in control now with this um, ace of cups here with this four of air. There's a new beginning in love, a restart in love. I think maybe the two of you, because you are in a committed relationship. That is very clear. You've been together for quite some time, but you're both very headstrong. So maybe there was a little bit of a tiff and you know, you're wondering if mm, maybe, maybe this is something that needs to end. I don't really feel like either of you want that, but I think in the heat of the moment, both of you were like, hmm, I'll show you, hmm. you know, kind of that sassy ego energy. All right. So let's do this twin flame oracles. Unawakened. <laughs> what I'm hearing is both of you think that the other is somewhat unawakened and that's a lot to do with the um <laughs> the bravado that both of you carry this headstrong control that both of you like to exert so spirit is talking about since we are now in the age of Aquarius, depending on the system that you used to calculate it. Um, I'm using the one that, or I, I am favoring the one that said just this past on the 21st for um, the winter solstice that the, the age of Aquarius has come in and it's brought these new energies, this new signs. And so when Spirit's saying both of you are unawakened, but you think each other is unawakened. So let me clarify. You think the other person is not as awakened as you are. You guys are very competitive with each other, but you also love each other dearly. So there are signs here pointing you that there needs to be a new beginning between the two of you. Because both of you are awakening. And that's pretty fabulous that both of these cards would come out in just a three card draw. So you need to see the signs that, you know, yeah, this is changing. This is growing, you know, and the dark night of the soul has come up here. So this is time for both of you to go within and start really doing your healing. And because I think even though you guys are very like both headstrong and like to be in control and make the decisions and that can bring some fighting, you guys also have this good balance, but it's also saying that it's time for both of you to go within and do more deeper healing so you can be yet a stronger couple. Wow. Can't really say anything more than that. That just fell out too. So it's time for you guys to go into your dark night of the soul and do some healing. Because this is a beckoning like with a strong couple like this where it's, you know, the king and queen of swords. You know, but you've got the 10 of pentacles here and the 10 of water and you've got the lover's card like you've got the mix of all that needs to happen you know what i'm hearing is that you guys are a divine couple that needs to have a metamorphosis you need to take this amazing energy that the two of you have separately and together and take this to the next level i think to a certain degree not only do you guys abandon each other during these control fights, these control issues that you guys present to each other, it also makes the other feel abandoned. And you, you know that you don't let it cut both either of you down to the core, but it weakens the situation. It weakens your guys' energies. And Spirit is saying that you need to stop doing that because, like I said, you guys are a divine couple that need to take this healing serious, this metamorphosis serious, going from thinking one's unawakened to awakening. Spirit is saying that your energies, 
your love for each other, and this might be a twin flame situation here, where you are being called to bring this to the next level of awareness and awakening so you can help others. You, you need to model what a happy, loving, empowered relationship looks like. You know, because you've, you know, you guys have a family. You know, if it's not children yet, you definitely have other family members who look to you. You know, and it's going to be something where you're going to help other people that are, are in separation with their divine counterparts to come together. So I did not expect Sagittarius that this would be a, a calling for a divine couple to wake the F up, but here we are doing the do. So spirit is very adamant that it's time for you to awaken. It's time for you guys to come together as a unit, do your healing, go through your dark night of the soul. Cause there is amazing things that you guys can accomplish. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So, Spirit, what else do we need to express here? They're saying nothing more because more will come. Now, if this resonated with you, please, please, please like it so it can be spread around to other Sagittarius who are already in a divine counterpart situation and being called to take it to the next level. Because you guys are so comfortable with each other, you didn't realize that. But with the new age of Aquarius... It's time, baby. It is time. And if your person isn't interested in doing that, then the person who is watching this is being called to be the forerunner, to be the trailblazer. And of course, it might spark some of that, you know, like, I told you I was the awakened one. <laughs> try to try to let that go. <laughs> and I know it's, it's a, a lot of it's in jest with the two of you, but you guys are a beautiful couple. Please comment down below on how this resonates with you because I love to hear about people's scenarios. This is a beautiful reading. All right, you guys, I will see you on the next one. And I hope I earned your subscription today. Don't forget to like. Love you guys. Bye.